What is the world's largest beetle? With so many giant beetles, of so many different shapes, this question is a little tricky to answer. Let's begin with this one. See how this beetle has really long antennas? These antennas can get massively long. This is a long horn beetle. Now imagine if we took this beetle and rotated the antennae backwards. Then we measured this as the entire length of the beetle. This would make longhorn beetles the longest beetles on Earth. But does that mean they're the largest? Because their bodies are so tiny. There must be something a little beefier, like this, a goliath beetle. Not as long as a longhorn, but definitely heavier. If you're measuring by heaviest adult weight, this might be considered the largest beetle. But why is it specifically adult weight? Well, you'll see, but a little bit later. So maybe you think longhorn beetles could be the largest because they're the longest, or goliath beetles could be the largest because they're the heaviest. But before you decide, I'd like to show you a third type of beetle that might change the way you think about this whole thing. This beetle has a very strange face. It has a nice set of horns. So you know how beetles are split into three segments, their head, thorax, and abdomen? Well, these beetles have horns coming out of their first and second segments. The horn that comes out of their head is called a head horn. And the horn that comes out of their thorax is called a pronotal horn. Some beetles have more than one of each horn, like this one. It has a very long head horn and two pronotal horns. Beetles with horns like these are called rhinoceros beetles. I'll show you the largest rhinoceros beetle that exists, but first, these videos take a whole lot of work to put together, so it would really mean a whole lot to me if you sat through this short segment from this video's sponsor, Bespoke Post. I wonder what's inside of these. They're from Bespoke Post, a membership club that sends you a box of awesome neat products every month. It's free to join and you could skip a month or cancel anytime. You take a quiz about your interests on their website. Then they put together a box of items ranging from outdoor gear, home goods, clothing, and even live oysters just for you. Every box of awesome has around $70 worth of goods, but it costs you only a fraction of that price. You preview the box before it ships and decide if you wanna swap it for something different or skip that month altogether. This is the Explore Box. There's a backpack, water bottle, headlamp, and granola bar. I also got the canteen box. There's a lunch box, reusable utensil set, and lunch bag. 90% of the products come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the US. So to get 20% off your first box of awesome, click the link in the description and enter code OAS20 at checkout. Or go to bespokepost.com slash OAS20. But back to the pressing matter at hand. This is a rhinoceros beetle called a Hercules beetle. The largest Hercules beetles are about the length of your average banana. When we measure beetle length, if we ignore the antennae, a Hercules beetle is a little longer than the longest longhorn beetle. So could this be considered the largest beetle? Well, not quite. There's one more that we have to look at. But first, did you notice something strange here? What's with all of this hair? 
I didn't expect rhinoceros beetles to be so hairy. But there's hair everywhere. The hair on their horns can help them grip their rivals when fighting. Hair elsewhere, like on their legs, can help them feel or touch. And the hair on their abdomen can keep them thermoregulated, keeps them warm. I wonder if there's any hair. <gasps> What's this? This beetle looks kind of cracked, and it kind of seems like there's something inside of there. Let's grab a beetle and open it up to see what it is. <gasps> Wings. All of these giant beetles we've seen so far have wings. They're usually folded up under these hard coverings, but this means that all of these giant beetles can fly. But back to our question, which beetle is the largest? Well, it's important to remember that these beetles didn't always look like this. You know how caterpillars go through a metamorphosis? Well, beetles do too. They start as eggs and go through a few larval stages, a pupa stage, and an adult stage. And these giant beetle larval stages can get big really big. This is an Actaeon rhinoceros beetle as an adult, but as a larva, it looks like this. As an adult, they weigh about 50 grams, but as a larva, they weigh twice that much. So if we're looking for the heaviest beetle at any life stage, this could be considered the largest. So here are our options. Now it's time to decide. What would you consider to be the largest beetle on Earth?